Hello and welcome back. This time we're talking about how to get uh, signals about the, the, the physical hardware, the hardware of interfaces. Okay, we're talking about how to transmit things from one system to the other system. Huh? Well, basically there are three possible ways. Huh? So there are cables. Huh? There are fiber optics and there are uh, radio transmitting things. Yeah. Well, radio transmitting things are rather easy. Everybody knows Bluetooth, every, uh, so easy from understanding, yeah? from cabling. Yeah? We don't need cabling, everybody understands Bluetooth, everybody understands uh, uh, Wi-Fi, yeah? because it's all around us. These are the technologies how to transfer data. How this is working, this is not that easy. However, it's possible to do this and everybody knows. Okay. Then the majority of the things are still cables, yeah, transmitting data, cables, sensors and so on. They're usually cabled. Okay. We're going to have a look on different type of cables. Okay. I'm using Sharp tools, yeah. Studied guy with sharp tools might be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not for me. And then we will have a short look on fiber optics. Okay. But now let's start with cables. A very basic. Ca I have here some examples for us, uh, for you. A very a very basic cable. Are such cables. Huh? These cables, you see, they are just some wires inside. Yeah? There's a coating. Let's open it. Let's open it a little bit. Let's hope I'm not cutting myself. That's it. Yeah. There's a little core, we can also cut it, and these are the cables. Yeah. In this case, it's four. Yeah. They are labeled, I'm not sure if you can read this. Here it's labeled four, here this one should also be labeled. This is three, this is... Where's the label? This is the one and this is the two. Yeah. It's of course important that those things are labeled. Sometimes they are color coded. Yeah. Sometimes they are labeled uh, because on the other side of the cable, I need to find the right wire. <laughs> there are cables out with hundreds of these wires. Yeah. Would be enormous. Yeah. And then it's a real challenge. With four, yeah, it's a challenge. So this is just cables. No shielding. Okay, they are also available with shielding. I have also something for you here. This is a very old uh, SCART cable. Let's open this. You see already the wires inside. Yeah. You see that they are twisted. They are twisted here in also. Yeah. They are twisted. There are several reasons for twisting. These twists here are you have usually mechanical reasons. The same reasons why also why also a rope is twisted. You see, they are plugged in, and here this this thing here, this is the shielding. Okay, and the shielding is here connected to this part. Uh, so this is not just because it looks nicer, the plug, it also has a function. And here you see a lot of cables inside, and those cables are all connected to the spins. Mm. Typical. Okay. Some of the cables are grouped, you see here. I hope you see. There are two cables and they are grouped together. That's also possible 
and quite usual let's say that we are grouping different type different cables which belong together in one protective coating and you see these are color coded on the other side I just have to use the right color that's it close it again so here on this fancy look through uh, coating yeah, we see we see the shielding yeah. another example of such things have you ever wondered how a USB cable is looking inside this is a USB cable yeah. let's open it A little bit more rigid. And see what is coming out here. Who? The shielding. First, we see the shielding. We can put away the shielding usually there is one bigger wire inside the shielding for connecting the shield or you just have to pull this together and connect the shielding and then there is usually also a foil which is here is also the, the wire you see here's a little wire you can connect it or you can do it like this uh, usually we use the wire and this foil we can also open here somewhere yeah. use a little toy yeah. and usually once we cut this foil a little little bit open yeah, then it is very easy to rip it off it belongs also to the shielding and here inside we have our cables we see we have a white one a green one a black one and a, and a red one and we also see that the red and the black one are thicker than the green and the white one why is that hmm? because green as a red and and black are usually used for power supply okay so these are the power supplies here real big current is running so current needs to have space yeah? and here these are just the, just the data lines yeah just small signals we have to we can have it thinner that's how a USB cable is looking inside these are connected this is the shielding this is the power supply 5 volt usually ground plus and this is the data transfer cables serial cables what serial means we will hear so this is USB cable also looking pretty similar to this one right is a little bit thicker but this is with shielding and this is without shielding so cables there are also other type of cables yeah? like uh, i don't know coaxial cables for instance yeah? maybe you know them from your television set and on these cables signals are transferred to another unit okay. if the signal needs to be transferred to a electromagnetic field or something like this yeah then it might be difficult yeah. we could use other type of cables like this one yeah i will also open this one for you yeah. let's see what's inside
Uh -huh. We see already the shielded. Okay, so there's a shielding inside. Let's open the shielding also. Second shielding, yeah, but not only second shielding. There are separately shielded bunch of wires. Okay, and there is also a shielding connector or wire. Let's open one of these. I'll cut it open here. Open. Let's, it's like Christmas. Let's look inside. Aha! Uh -huh. You see, two cables, two wires, and they're twisted. Okay. Let's see if those of the others are twisted as well. Let's open another one. Twisted as well. Yeah? I can tell you all of them are twisted. Open all of them. These cables hmm, are called twisted pair. Why are? I mean, the name is clear. Yeah, they are pairwise, yeah? and they're twisted. Each pair is twisted. Why are they twisted? Because now, that's by the way, that's a LAN network cable. This is how this is looking inside. Network cable. Why they are twisted? Let's assume we do have a twisted pair cable. This is a twisted pair cable. Okay. And this would be a regular cable without twisting. Okay. Now let's assume we also have some electromagnetic interference. Yeah. So we have some electromagnetic field which is going through and is changing that uh, direction and so on and is, and is somehow inducting here voltage. Yeah. Bringing voltage inside our cable. Here I have an open window. A lot of this field can pass. It will pass and will bring in quite a lot of voltage. Here the voltage is brought in from this direction and in this window from the other direction and in this window from the other direction and in this window from the other direction and this window from the other direction. Always from opposite directions. This means here will, let's say, if the voltage in this window is plus, in this window the voltage will be minus. And in total I have zero voltage. Okay, so twisting cables makes them not only more durable in mechanic ways, they also help getting rid of electromagnetic influences. Okay? Also the shielding is helping for this and so on. We might reach a limit here, yeah? and if we are going to transfer with higher speeds or at prolonged length, yeah? then we are going to use fiber optics. Yeah? Fiber optics, how they build? There's a thin, a very thin glass core. Yeah? Then there is a cladding, a coating, a protection shield. Yeah. Then around this, there's another coat. And then there is the insulation. It's not really insulation then. Yeah. This here is glass. Yeah. This is the this is the fiber optics. This is there. The light is traveling. Okay. 
Glas. There are mono mode and multi mode phases, uh, uh, fibers, basically multi mode, a little bit thicker, mono mode are a little bit thinner. Yeah? Mono mode are really thin. What is it? Mono mode cable can only, they only want a light with a certain frequency and a certain modulation can travel inside. All other light is not possible. Yeah? In multi-mode phases, different mode of lights can travel. Yeah? So there might be different wavelengths and so on, and different modulations of the of the light signals. This is then multi-mode, they're a little bit thicker. Yeah? Mono-mode cables have le much less tamping. Yeah? Multi-mode cables, yeah? maybe more data transfer. So, uh, and because mono mode signals have much less tamping, we can travel further. Mono mode kilometers, hundreds of kilometers. Yeah. Multi mode meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, like this. Yeah. I show you also on the on the screen from Wikipedia some picture. This is how a fiber optic cable looks like. Yeah. So here is the, the, the glass fiber optics. This is the coating and this is the protective coating and so on. Pa, pa, pa. And then from the outside it just looks like this. Yeah? There is no difference. Just the connectors look a little bit different. The connectors look like this, yeah, usually. So it's not that that different. Yeah? And we only have to take care about the radius, how far it can be bent. By the way, it's also a topic on, on, on copper cables, but not that much. Yeah? People always think that this radius, this minimal radius we have to keep is because this little glass pieces inside, they will shatter, they will break and then uh, will not work. But actually, this is not true. Yeah? i show you the reason. Yeah? You can imagine, this is the fiber optic. Yeah? And this is the, is the light which is traveling. Yeah? If it's straight, the light will travel everywhere with the same speed yeah? or the light will travel with the same speed but have the same length and then there is a band yeah? and now look what is happening the light on the inner side of the fiber optic needs to be a shorter way yeah? and the light of the and the outer side of the of the Fiber optic needs to be a long, needs to go a longer way. Of course, this is not possible because the speed of light is constant. So we will get here a gradient, and some of the light will simply leave. You can imagine like it's leaving. Yeah? It's leaving the fiber optic, and only a part of it will prolong. Yeah? So there is a damping, and every on every band there is a damping in the signal. This is the real reason, not because I break glass inside. These glass things, they are really tiny, you know, really tiny. I mean, we're talking about micrometer here. Yeah? This is a micrometer. Incredible tiny. A hair, yeah? also our hairs, it's usually made of a material which we just break. But I think nobody has the fear that if they stroke with the brush through the hair, if you're brushing your hair, then it will, they will all break, right? It's the same effect. This glass here inside this is usually not breaking. Reason of the band is the loss of signal. So we talked about cables, we talked about fiber optics. Well, about radio transmission, there is not much to say. There must be a there must be an access point or something like this, a point which is then again cabled, 
with some fiber optics or 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 uh, cables, yeah, copper cables, and the last mile, yeah, the last way, it will be by uh, air transmission, yeah. radio. Either it's telephone, yeah, communication system. Also here, only the last mile is traveling to our telephone. There is the receiver station, it's cabled. Yeah. Or Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, yeah, different ranges, different uh, frequencies and so on. However, well, the, the, main, the main disadvantage of those uh, uh, radio transmitted things is that we are polluting the air. Not for health reasons and so on, uh, uh, just because electromagnetic reasons uh, that we may be disturb another another system somewhere, yeah? and we're all sharing the same communication. Yeah? So the bandwidth in a cable is usually higher than through air because a cable, I am the only one which is using the cable usually, yeah? and we only have one air one room and we had to share it with others that's it so this is cables yeah? next time we're talking about the signals on the cable how they might be yeah? for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye